vehicles up. This is RAF Greenland. This was where the American air bases were, this is where the nuclear weapons were, this is where massive protests took place. And there's a thing a little while ago that came to light called Operation Overture, which was a scheme run by the government. What they meant was that they would take soil samples of Britain's nuclear establishment and try to work out the traces of radioactive elements in the area. They would therefore make comparative analysis of other countries' soil samples and try and locate where their nuclear bases were. In the course of doing this, two scientists from AWE, the Atomic Weapons Establishment at Aldermaston, published a report because they found that here at Greenham, in the 50s occurred a dispersal of uranium. Now, it wasn't huge, and there seems to be no present danger, but at the time, the government was saying nothing happened. The scientists go on to actually say that they suspect it relates to an incident in 1958 when an American plane crashed and burnt here, and they suspect that a nuclear weapon was actually on board. Again, the government completely deny this. Now, there's a, a map here that shows the dispersal of uranium. And if you can look, this is the runway goes along here. This is where the runway goes along. And you can see, according to this map of the trace of uranium, the uranium has been dispersed by the planes taking off and, and landing. Now, we don't know for certain whether there was a, a plane here that crashed with uranium on it or not. What we do know is there's a whole load of evidence that points that it might have occurred. And we'll never find out unless we have proper freedom of information. Because at this point, whose interest does secrecy work in? The Ministry of Defence said there was no nuclear weapon involved in the 1958 fire and subsequent studies have not replicated the results of the original study. If those measurements were reliable, the presence of uranium in 1961 still remains unexplained. <laughs>